Hey guys, welcome back to day 17 of our 100 day consistency challenge. Tech Insights with Dylan White, and I'm excited for you guys to spend another day with me. Let's get into a little bit of what's to come. So, over the last 16 days, we've dived into all the different solution areas why I love being a solutions consultant for Microsoft Services. Yesterday, we dove into a little bit more of the modern work area, especially with the product that I've gotten from there with over the last couple months, especially, which is Microsoft Planner. We all know it, we all love it. Do we even use it to its advantages? Um, so probably not. And I've learned there's lots more to it than even I even understood. So what we're going to dive into today is just a 10 minute overview of Microsoft Planner. Um, it's probably even like five to seven. We're just going to dive into just the basics and how it works, how you can customize it a little bit more uh, from a day to day tool and then leveraging it for a scenario that I think is very cool. So with that being said, Let's get into it. All right, guys, let's dive into Microsoft Planner. We've signed in. We are at the home page of Microsoft Planner. It jumps us into my day. All right, so you automatically can see that you have no, no plans yet, no tasks. This is just your space. Um, something I want to start leveraging this for is just how I go about my day to day. I don't write down a lot of stuff, but just I'm going to start loving it for my day to day starting now. Uh, because it's a new week, why not? So some things you can think of is right, like what do you want to get done? You can just wait and say, we want to upload a new video. Let's do that. Right, so you have a new title, right? You can send it to a plan. This is my private plan, due date. And it's going to be due today. Because you want, I mean, it's not daily for no, any reason, right? You got to do it. So you have a priority level. Let's get urgent, progress. I mean, we're recording right now, so let's let's do it. It's a quick look. Yeah, we got to edit it on a quick look. We can't edit the field, right? so that's one of the fields we can't edit. So let me just get into it, right? We now have a task, okay? I'm going to provide a task board. So you can see that on the left-hand side here, we have my day, my task, and my plans. Also, have a pinned area, right? We're going to have all of our good stuff, and we can create a new plan, all right? So I'll go to the next area, it's my tasks, right? So now you can see all kinds of crazy tasks. Where do they come from, right? Well, they come from your plans, right? You can see that as this loads, I have some plans that's been, that's been shared to me, right? We have three, six, seven different plans, anywhere from product launch event to logistics, project tracking, right? Looks like we have some teams also as well, uh, and an event plan, right? You can see. Well, that's all the different plans you have, right? And that's where your tasks come from. But what you'll see now that I've done this, right? I also have this private task. So I can actually come in here and I can see all my work segregated down to not only the assignment field, right, by the due dates, right? Let's have this ending. You know, I like to, I like to look at not the, not the big rocks. I like to, my, they, my brain likes to be, make sure I don't do what's really important first. Um, this is crazy. But you can also see the priority level, where I'm at right now, and if there's quick looks, any content that's related to it. Right, so you can sort this by descending to, looks like they're all medium. All right, looks like we've got some red due dates. It's not good. Um, but you can see, we quickly can tell what we have assigned to us, which is awesome. And you can also see if you've had five emails. Um, so the planner just built in functionality. There's so many cool ways for you to stay ahead Right, end of the day, Microsoft Planner is a lightweight, less complex project planning tool that allows teams, organizations to work efficiently together. Right, and then from an individual standpoint, you can start tracking and making sure that you are staying ahead of the curve. All right, so we now have on the private tasks we've assigned to ourselves. We've seen what other tasks are out there. We've seen plans, right? Anything related to from teams to different plans, what you've been shared with. All right, so let's pin one of these. All right, I want to pin, I want to go to the product launch plan. Right, let's see what I, I can see. Right, it's going to load up. You can see it comes out in a Kanban view. Right, so you can see what are called different buckets. Right, this is our Kanban board. So we have to do what we're on track for. We have any plans that are at risk. We have plans that are blocked. Right, you can see what they're blocked by. You can also see that at the top, we have this ability to see them in a grid view. Right, so this is just a list. And the day, it's a little list. You can see a schedule, right, and a calendar view, what all we have to do. Maybe not so efficient. We also have this ability to see charts, right? 
how many tasks are left? How many to do by bucket, right? So we can go to the organization and say, hey, how many of our tasks are at risk, right? So, okay, we have two in progress tasks at risk. We have one that's not even started yet. How many are blocked, right? And blocked with two in progress and one that's not started yet. And really quickly, you can just see we have 10 tasks left. Four not started, six are in progress. Nothing late yet. And we can also see our unassigned. You can see who had our assigned this stuff, right? Maybe we have people, honey, right? We have to take some project pieces that are unassigned. We have some team members that don't have anything assigned. And we have some that have five or more. That's a lot for one person. We can start to decentralize our workload a bit more, make sure our, our workload is well dispersed or not burning anybody on the team out. Like everybody hits a group project where somebody's kindling all the burning. I don't want to be that person, okay? Um, and then on the right, you can kind of see the tasks, and like if you're on track for certain things. Um, it makes it very quick and efficient. We can also filter them, right? We can share this dashboard if we want to, right? We can share the planner itself. Uh, we can quickly change our, our product model. We can export the plan to an Excel, right? All kinds of cool things. You can then filter, right? We can just do quick, quick, easy things, right? With our details. We can add tasks right from here. And we can edit right from here, right? So if you want to go into one, you can see we can edit a task. And in your task, you can see you have the event planning, you have the bucket it's part of, the progress state, right? For progress state, you have obviously not started, in progress and completed. We have, you know, priority status. So when we started it, when it's due, right? And we have whether or not it prints or not. We can add notes, we can add attachments. We can also add comments, right? So we can add, you know, we can add people. Right, who entered the task? Right, so let's see. We're at who's all in our team. Let's see. We're at Lee. Right, so let's add at Lee. Right, let's add. Right. Gotta love when something doesn't work. Right, well, let's assign this to Lee. So it's on that Zaire right now. Well, let's change it from Isaiah to Lee. Okay, now close it. Now we can go down. See, Lee's got even more, right? But now Lee's got six assigned above. All right? Maybe not what we want. Okay, so let's go. Let's change this to Alex Wilbur. He doesn't have anything. So we're going to change this to Alex. Okay, so we're going to remove it from Isaiah. We're going to definitely remove it from Lee. Let's drop it on Alex's head. Okay. And we're out of here. Alex now has one assigned to him. Okay. Quick and easy. Big and fishy. All done from a planner board. All right. So we got that done. Now let's move into something even more quick. Let's make a new plan. We've seen how to edit. We've seen the kind of charts. Oh, look. Cool. We can see we have basic capabilities. Premium, right? You can pay for it. You can have a simple a project software. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get it. You all can read. Let's see all templates. Project management, software management, business management, miscellaneous, right? CRM pipeline, help test tickets, all kinds of cool stuff straight from the beginning. Let's build a, let's build a simple, what's in the simple plan? Okay, so you can see, boom, we're gonna get a board, right? Key benefits, where is any plan, large or small, customize your plan, meet your needs. All right, well, let's see, maybe we want a project. Project large, small, manage your talent resources, customize your plan. Um, we'll go on a pipeline. All right, so you can see you got easily have basic views from a CRM pipeline, acquired training, right? The growth mindset, blah, blah, blah. Is that a benefit of it? Probably not. Actually, I could probably do a little bit better with, you know, changing their, their benefits for, to fit the plan and the tempo that's there. All right, let's see if I'm putting onboarding, right? This makes sense. I right? manage onboarding processes and documentation, organized communication with new employees from post offer acceptance, all the other things. To ask them for feedback from the hiring. That makes sense. You know what? It makes how much sense. We're going to use the template. All right, we can then name it. Maybe we want to name it. Same it. Let's see. Sales engineering. So let's just do that. Sales engineering onboarding. Let's do that. Add, we're going to add it to our pins. Or we can also add it to our group right away if we wanted to. I'm not going to drop it on any group, but we're just going to create it. So basically, if we added it to a group, then any day it's part of that group, but then therefore see this as a plan. Go ahead and start automatically assigning them as well. 
So look, you also get some basic board buckets. You also get some basic board tasks, right? So you can see post offer acceptance, what we need to do, set employees, start updating the system, register for onboarding, technology stack, company accounts, assets, right? Get them on laptop, get them on enable the mobile device, and set up a VPN, right? Paperwork for the direct deposit, I9, all the good stuff, right? Make sure that they, we get paid. We'll probably put that in the first day, right? Orientation, training, orientation schedule, schedule meetings with team members, assign a team mentor, and ask them for onboarding feedback, all without doing any task creation. We now have a full plan, and we can start adding dates, right? What we have done. So you can see our quick chart again, 10 tasks, where the buckets live, and where the priority is, right? Who's, they're all unassigned. You can see all the buckets on the right as well. It's such a quick tool. And this is just one of the many examples of Microsoft Planner. Oh, all right, guys, as always, thank you for being here to embrace the gifts of today with me. Thank you for leaning a little bit on history yesterday as we get ready for the mystery tomorrow. Um, thank you for embracing the plan with me, as of, no pun intended. Obviously. Uh, but I do, would be remiss if I didn't say, hey, guys, tomorrow's the biggest day in the world probably for at least the next, we'll call it next eight years, because um, it's going to set the tone. I hope you guys at least all will go out and vote. Just we all have a, a duty to ourselves and to our friends and family to, to take it forward. I hope you guys do it. I know myself will be volunteering um, a bit of my time as well. The boots, the early voting. Um, so hopefully you guys take advantage of it. As always, tomorrow we're going to dive into a little bit of a different duty, which is, you know, we just want to get in to a little bit of the nitty gritty of my work and how licensing works. Um, lots of, we need a beer. I don't lie to you. It's going to get fun. It's going to be juicy. I'll see you guys there as always. Peace.